Hello YouTube world, it's hey Keisha. I'm just here to tell you about my um, my supernatural home, my miracle home, my home that um, as per inspection and as per everything, like this home is for is worth over 2.3 million dollars, and I got it at a half of the price. It was actually posted and the price keep dropping and dropping and dropping, but I didn't see it until the price drop where I could afford it. And um, I just want to share it with you guys to let you guys know what is for you will be for you as long as God says so. So I was going through a lot. I have given a lot. I have a home and I share my home. I there's just things that happen to people and I'm always like open my doors for people if you can't pay your rent if you're homeless come in I welcome you in just respect my stuff respect my children and you know I've been given a lot and God decided that I'm gonna give you even more I'm going to exceed your expectation I'm gonna give you lots because you're deserving of it and he really he really came through for me I was going through I've been through a lot and I think I believe I've fought through a lot and every time that I'm going through stuff I am on my knees and I'm praying because nothing is gonna break me down nothing is gonna separate me from God and from the love of God and my experience going through all of that and now seeing God showing up for me I'm so glad that I build this relationship with him and I was never given up and now he's just working miracles on top of miracles in my life and now I just want to share it with the world and you know like encourage other people to keep their eyes on God and to get closer to him so he can help them just as how he's been helping me here we go to my story pour myself to pour out myself to god to just pour out and everything i got a job i had a job at the time and i gave 100 and i would say 150 percent and i was treated badly at that job and like i feel like i don't know i feel like i was just torn like torn like torn i'm like god the only like i at work i encourage people i talk so much highly about you and i feel like I don't know I, I need your help I need your help I need you to remove me out of the situation and I remember one morning I got up after I prayed and not pour myself to God I remember getting up in the morning and voice said to me I will never leave you nor forsake you and I felt good I felt good and at the time I had a job that I I didn't like I wasn't enjoying it it's not where I see myself and I just was just pouring everything to God and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna do it to the best of my ability and if it's God will probably has plans for me there if it's not if he doesn't then he will put me into the he will show me or he will guide me into the right direction and I remember getting up going to work and I just felt at peace and you know it came to me like I will never leave you nor forsake you and he started to show me that you know what I'm gonna give you a house don't worry provide a house for you I'm gonna provide a husband for you I'm gonna provide a business for you and I believe God is working on my life I believe him I and ever since that day I found myself like I get on high just to search and look for houses and then I was searching and I was looking for house house and house and house and I was looking for townhouses and because I know I can't afford to buy a detached house I know I can and then I figure if townhouses aren't even up there can I really manage financially by myself um, to get a, a townhouse well at this time I already have a home but it's rented and I had taken the money off that home to purchase the second one as an investment. And so um, said that he's going to 
give me another home he's gonna give me another home and he's you know like I started trusting him and then I started reading my Bible and started getting closer and closer to him but there was this thing where I just could not help myself searching for houses searching for houses, and searching and I started to expand my way I started to go out of where I'm at and started to look closer to where I started working at and then it's because I got a new job and I will tell you about well not recently but the job that I just got laid off from it was a miracle too and I will tell you guys another story in regards to that but for this one I search as I said to cut it chart short um, one day I, I, I just decided that you know what how about I start looking for a house like a shell and like an older home a Victorian home and just fix it up myself I know I want something that at least 150,000 will be able to fix and I'll just move both me and my uh, me and my children will just move to that home and um, I saw some I saw one for like 450 and I'm like okay I don't know so I'm gonna try it so we drove to Mount Forest as I said in previous video um, two of my children we drove to Mount Forest and we, were, we came and we we're like oh my gosh this is catfish the house there's tons of work to do it's one the price for two four fifty was way too expensive and um, plus the work that has to be done there it would have it would have been so much money so I'm like okay we like we like the area it's we love the area and it's we want to just start all over let's start fresh and um, I went back home and I decided to search to see if I see anything on a lower end and then it just I saw this house and it was gorgeous it was huge and it was just gorgeous to have everything that I would want for um, my my forever home um, that's not the word but but it, it has everything that I'm looking for and I'm like I don't know so I got in touch with some people online and they forwarded me to um, a com uh, person within that area and we scheduled an appointment to see the house and let me tell you I walked it I, I didn't even walk in I saw it from the outside and I'm like God I placed my hand on that brick and I like God I claim this house in the mighty name of Jesus I, and I kept walking and I'm just kept touching the walls and claiming it I'm like God this is and then when I thought about it, I'm like okay by the time I buy a house by the time I buy a holder home I fix it up and you know it's probably gonna cost me the same amount of money and I claimed it and I went home and then I started to get in touch with brokers and to see and I probably got in touch with about four or five brokers and everyone tell me no you have to be making over a hundred and twenty thousand for you to be able to afford it and to get approved or it was just no 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 and i remember going to my bed and i was a little bit hurt and i remember going to my bed but i was hurt but i'm like god if it's your will then let it be if it's not then help me to take my mind off of it because it's a home that it's it's a forever home it has everything that you can think of everything that I need is there and it's just suitable for my family uh, about a couple weeks later I started to take my mind off of it I started to just take my mind off of it and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna have to plan better because this is just a rush I have to plan better and probably next year hopefully I will find something like that on the market and I went to bed and then I got up with this song on my mind at the time I didn't understand when God speak to you or how to know when he's speaking to you and he put the song because I'm a person I love um, Tasha Cobbs and if you know you'll you'll hear me talk a lot about her on my videos and she had a song called you know my name and you guys can like put it in YouTube and listen to the words and it says you know my name and I'm like God it's just been singing in my head no mountain stands in front of me or no valley and you know no no no, no giant can defeat me and just the word and I'm like this is these 
mortgage broker and financial banks and whatever that says that they're not going to approve me they are giants and i'm like as long as god can defeat them and i'm like god this whole world belongs to you everything within it is um, belongs to you it's all yours and I am your daughter and I am deserving of it I'm like even though I'm having that conversation there was a little bit of doubt and one of my friends said oh I was speaking to a real estate guy my real estate guy and he said um, he wants to speak with you so I he goes oh so what so when I spoke with him he like okay I made an appointment for us to go look at this house that you really like um, he was kind of skeptical because it's like for the price that it's going even though I'm telling you guys even though um, it was more expensive than the one that I wanted to it was more expensive than the the home that I wanted to rebuild um, it was yet still cheap so he was like no the house it's there's must be something wrong so he wanted to see it himself so we came here and again i'm like god i claim this in the mighty name of jesus and we're just looking and videotaping and and taking pictures and i'm like claiming it god i claim it i claim it i claim it i claim it god i just continue just claiming it in the mighty name of jesus this is for me god if you're in it with me go through this with me and i was just been claiming it and then after he goes, okay, after we looked and everything, he goes, okay, we're going to put in an, an offer for the home. And um, I think we went the Tuesday and he said, oh, we're going to put in an offer the Saturday. And the Saturday he called and he said, okay, he put in an offer. No, they called and said that there was an offer that came in. And he goes, okay, if you really need it that bad, we may have to put whatever their offer, their, their accent price. And I'm like, I really love it. We can try the, off, the accent price. So he did, and then I went to a birthday party, and then I got a phone call, and then he said, congratulations, and I felt like, from there on, I felt like I was in a dream, and I'm like, so he goes, okay, you need to put a deposit in 24 hours. Oh, a deposit? Oh, how much is that deposit? $15,000, and I'm like, where am I going to find $15,000? I said, honestly, I don't have $15,000 to go borrow it. And when you, and then when you sold the other home, cause that's what my plan was now I had to sell the other home that I have for like, I believe we, I had it for 15 years in order to put the down payment down. And he goes, well, once you sold it, you can pay it back. And I'm like, okay, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get approved because if a bank won't approve me and my credit is not great at all. And, um, so I went to this place and I usually use them and I go, okay, I can give you 9,000. I'm like, okay, I want 15,000. But they were like, okay, so the um, the manager is like, why not just take the nine and then try another place and see if you can get the rest? So I'm like, you know, that sounds like a good idea. So I, I did. And I'm like, who else is going to give me um, a loan this big? Like I've never, I've never really gone anywhere and asked for these kind of loans. And I tried another place and they said no. And I was like, oh my gosh, now I'm stuck with 9,000. What am I going to do? And I was just playing on my phone. I went on to this, do an online thing. And then it was approved for 8,000. I'm like, oh my gosh. So it said for me to go into the store. And then I went and the girl just looked at my ID. She saw the approval and she just gave it to me. And I'm like, it has to be God. In 24 hours, I was able to come up with not only 15, but 18,000 and I was able to put the deposit down and then even though the deposit was down there was still no approval from the bank and I'm like God I put the deposit down I step out in faith and I really don't know what else to do everything else is out of my hand and I'm just gonna rest it into your hand and every time the thought comes to my head for me to do this or do that and do this and do that I was like, God, I don't want to remove it out of your hands. So you tell me what to do. And, you know, I always been praying like on my way to work and make it an, uh, a point of duty every morning to pray and to pray and to just worship on my way to work. And I was praying and worshiping. And after a voice said to me, there is a person that you contacted like eight months ago to get a loan and he was going to help you go back to him and ask him i think i've been to that guy three times and each time i went i said no nah, don't bother with it so i kind of like you know what i was scared to go back to him because i 
I feel like he might take me for a joke and I wrote him an email apologize for all the times that I came and you know but this is what I need and this is what I'm gonna do and this is the process already started so this is very serious and he goes to me he called me the same like 10 minutes after he goes I have someone that will be able to um, to, to to help you I just need for you to send you some papers application and get your approval to do it so I said okay this has been going all of this process was going on for three months yet I did not have a bank approval and so at that time because God keep on sending me to that person and I keep on saying no 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 I went to him he's gonna take me for a joke and at the time I said you know what I need to obey I need to obey God if it's you speaking I am gonna obey you and this will tell me if it's you or not and then a day after he called me and he said okay yes he's interested um, the lender is interested so all you gotta do is just I'm gonna send you over some paper sign whatever whatever and yes, they're on, I got approved. And they're like, if you want it right away, you can get it. But I said, no, I want it for, you know, at the um, the next two months, the second month, like the next, yeah, the end of the following month, because it was like a three months length of the time. And so I got it approved and I'm telling you guys, God is awesome. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. And I walk and I'm like I was in shock and awe and in a dream even though I was doing and I was praying and things was I got a fight I got fight I got fight I got fight the devil was fighting me he didn't want it for me to go anywhere he just want me to be a loser he just want people to use me and just take everything that I have but I kept fighting and praying and kept fighting and praying but sometimes guys God wants to help us God wants to help us and he tests our faithfulness and even though the devil is fighting and telling you stories and and try to rip you off don't give up don't give up he, God is in the midst he talk about patient he don't give up guys God talks about be patient be patient be patient be ye patient and just wait on the Lord. I, as a kid, I used to always, my favorite scripture in the Bible, that was one of them that I learned at a young age, wait on the Lord, be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I see on the Lord. Sometimes we're in too much of an ace, but it took three months and it happened, like everything happened right on time at the time i had my job i was making a good amount of money i was even though i was making a good amount of money it wasn't enough to approve me but yet i was able to get approved as soon as i got the house i lost my job and you guys heard the story about that and if you want to hear more continuation from this as how to how i'm going to be able to manage then i will link my video below but God has been so faithful to me, so faithful. And I just want people to know that you can do all things. You can get anything that you want as long as God is in the midst. Don't take him out of the midst. As long as he's in the midst, you will get what you want. He said, the Bible said, I can do all things through Christ who has strengthened me. And you know, the other day someone said to me that I don't, I look at your situation, Keisha, and I was like, you are so strong. You are so strong. I don't know how would I manage if I was in your place. Like all like everything, you know, the fight with the house, the house that I sold, I didn't get enough money that was estimated for me to get and and by the time I sold the house and trying to get everything is like they said that um, I didn't get enough money from the house that I sold and then everyone had their ends in the like whatever money extra I have everyone was just pulling everyone the lawyer that I hired she said okay my fee is eight hundred dollars at the end of the day her fee was over two thousand dollars so everyone was just taken and taken and taken and taken and taken and taken away from me but because that was the only resource that I had the only approval that I got the proof I have to pay 
$18,000 for the landing fee. I have to pay $6,000 for the guy that, um, for the broker. I have to pay over, I believe, $22,000 for the broker that I, I paid so much money. But I'm like, you know what? This is something that I want. This is an investment. And I'm telling you, as I said, I was looking at a home, for like a townhouse, and yet not a townhouse. Um, also older home for like say 200,000 or so and then I can just rebuild it to myself and God exceeded my expectation I will be giving you guys a tour let me know if you need any tour this is the house that I'm in right now there's a lot of painting that just cosmetic stuff that needs to be done a lot of painting the trims are in brown so I need to change those trims into white the fixtures are like old-fashioned so I plan on changing those fixtures pictures very very soon like as soon as next week so I will be doing a tour let me know give me some thumbs up if you want to see a tour of this home it has everything it has um, an office it has washroom closets galore it has a living dining room separate area and a, like a formal living room a formal dining room a formal and then a, a family room a eating kitchen and um, tons of cabinets and closets and like everyone that comes here i'm telling you everyone that comes here lifetime warranty steel steel roof um it has a pool it has a pool house it has a little a little um house outside for my daughter like a little i can fit in it about four or five people can fit in a huge nice home it has like a little park in the backyard it has a pool it has um a playroom it has a media room it has what else can i think of it has about five bedrooms extra bar bathrooms it's the quality of the home is like I have like um, two inspectors that came here, one for myself that I hired and one that the um, the insurance hired and they were in shock and awe. The insurance is like, okay, I'm sorry, but your insurance, your monthly insurance is going to be high because if this home burned down to the ground, it's going to cost us over $2 million and more to um to fix it because the quality that was used in this home is extremely expensive everyone was like you did the right decision that's the best decision and people were looking at me like you must have money but no it's god grace and god mercy and god faithfulness he is honestly faithful when he said that he's gonna do above and beyond he's gonna go above and he, he's gonna exceed our expect expectation my ex i walk in this and cannot stop praising god i cannot stop praising god my favorite song now is he's a way maker he's a way maker if you when you feel like he's not working he is working he's just making ways and ways and just opening doors opening doors and i know that he has a great plan for my life and I just want to keep my mind open and I just want to keep him close I don't want to falter I just want to keep him as close as I can because he is a word he will never go against his word all you have to do I will say it and I will stress in it ask 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 if you ask not you will receive not and if you ask it shall be given unto you so ask and seek if you need a home you can get it if you have questions message me below dm me i'm here i'll answer question i work i work in the home the new home industry so I have an idea. I have tons of ideas. So if you do have any question, I'm here. I will answer your question. I just want to help people because there's people that help me. And I feel like that's my gift to be unheard, to help people and to just share my story and just, just encourage people. I think that's my gift. I am my encourager. I love to encourage people. I love to see when people do good. Um, when I see young people purchase homes from us and they're young and I'm like, 
I am so proud of you. I don't know you, but I am so proud of you. And they can see the genuineness. I have, honestly, I really don't have friends. My friends that I have are people that I meet on the job, like homeowners that I met and they're like, okay, can I keep your number? And they will keep my number and call me and say, you know, Keisha, I'm having this. And I will just encourage them. And I think that's my gift to encourage people. And I just want to make videos to not meet, not only encourage those around me, but the entire world because people need to know God and get to know him and not to do stuff because you're not reach, you feel like you're not reaching any way, anywhere in life but just to throw everything to God, just how poor what you're going through, like just as how you speak to a friend, you just speak to God in that way and he will see you through. So, you know, that's my encouraging, that's my supernatural home. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching my videos and I will be doing more, as I said. So stay tuned for more. I hope that you guys love my video enough where you will subscribe and not only subscribe you will give me thumbs up and just let me know make some comments if you want to see a tour once i complete um doing comfortable doing the light the, the lighting and the um i'm gonna show you guys some before and after pictures because i took pictures too but sometimes when I, we're doing the um when we're doing the renovation some people don't want to be on camera so i i really don't want to show it so i had to take some before and after picture so yes yeah, so i hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month remember to subscribe